Peace. Let's understand the alphabets and the numbers on the chessboard so that from this point forward, we can start a naming the square. And we're gonna find out in chess lingo how important it is to address this square instead of pointing to its location. We still in board identification. So we're gonna to go to Alphabets and the numbers on the chessboard. Each square has a first name and a last name. Their first name is an alphabet. Their last name is a number. I'm going to say it again. Their first name is an alphabet. Their last name is a number. Square. So we're going to start identifying the squares. The rook is on A1. The knight is on B1. The bishop is on C1. The queen is on D1. The king is on the white, he's on E1. The bishop, the king's bishop is on F1. The king's knight is on HG1. And the king's rook is on H1. So we're gonna find out why, what happens when we identify the board. There's two sides to a chess board. And to really understand it, this is the queen side. So subsequently, this would be the king side. Now that we know how the board is set up, we're gonna understand the point value of each piece. Each piece has value. The most valuable piece on the chessboard we said was the queen. The queen is worth nine points. Why is the queen the most valuable piece on the chessboard? Simply because the queen has more mobility than all the other pieces. Queen moves vertical or horizontal. It also can move on a diagonal line. So the value becomes significant because of the piece's mobility. The most powerful piece on the chessboard. What's the most important piece? The king. So let's see how the king moves. King moves vertical, horizontal, as well as diagonal. One square at a time. We don't put value to the king because once he's captured, that's the end of the game. The next piece we learn the point value of is the rook. The rook is worth five points. Two rooks are ten points. The rook moves vertical as well as horizontal. Any, any given time, on one move, the rook could move to E8, or any one of these squares it could stop at, or he can move horizontal if he's not, if there's no uh, obstructions in his path. Knights worth three points. Two knights, six points. So let's understand how the knight moves. The knight moves in a L shape or a seven pattern. Now the way I learned the knight moves is because he has a particular dance step. And his dance step is he's on E4 he can move two squares up and one over. And if there's a piece here, he can capture him. From E4, he can move two squares up and he can land on 
D6. If there was a piece there, he could capture. His ability also is dissimilar. He can move two squares back and one over to G2. He can move two squares back and one over to D2. He's the only piece that can jump over another piece. One of the best ways to learn about a knight is if he's on a light color square, he has to land on a dark color square. He moves in an L or a seven shape. Bishop, three points. Two bishops, six points. Bishop moves on diagonals. And you can, as you can plainly see, this bishop controls the A1, H8 square. If he was on the light color square, he would be controlling the H1, A8 squares. The point value for pawns. The pawn's point value is that they are valued at one point apiece. Eight pawns would be considered eight points. Each pawn is considered one point. Pawns move vertical. They move forward. They capture on a diagonal. Pawns can never move backwards. They're the only piece on the board that cannot move backwards. Also, they're the only piece that once they reach the last row, the last rank, they can be promoted to a higher piece. A pawn can move one square at a time or two squares at a time. The pawn chooses to move any other pawn. If they choose to move one square or two squares in the beginning of the game, they can never move two squares again. Once they move one square or two squares, that's their choice in the beginning of the game, they are never allowed to move two squares again during the game. Okay, the only piece on the board that cannot move backwards and they capture on diagonals. 